Namaste. My name is Sandeep and I'm the exec chef at Renaissance Mumbai Convention Center and Hotel. I'm in this beautiful setting of Fratelli Fresh restaurant, looking forward to cook nice, authentic, classical French recipes for you. These French recipes are from the southwest of France, a region which is very dear to me because I have personally researched for recipes in these places and I've also traveled a lot, be it Nîmes, Arles, Aix-en-Provence, Lundoc, Roussillon, Toulouse. Uh, I've visited most of these cities, interacted with chefs and picked up some tips which will assist me in making this dish called the cassoulet de Toulouse, which is essentially the cassoulet but given the Toulouse twist to it. So we'll start with some duck fat which I have got here in a pan and I will slowly start melting it and we'll increase the temperature as we go along. If you notice, I'm not putting a whole lot of fat in here because I have some pancetta or pork bacon with me which I will also use to cook. I will slowly turn down the flame so that the fat gets rendered out and the aromas and the fats and the smokiness of the pancetta which is there gets released automatically, nicely and slowly. We will start by adding some chopped shallots which we have here. This will be followed by carrots. At this stage, we will just give it a nice quick stir so that everything kind of comes together. And if you see, the pancetta or the pork bacon is starting to lose the oil and the aroma into the mixture. To this, we can add oregano or marjoram. I've got a little bit of oregano here. Not a very traditional uh, herb from Lundok Russia, but uh, this is something that I like to use because it goes very well with the tomatoes. Again, we keep on stirring the mixture so that the herbs, the oil, the onions, they all infuse together. And then I'll add a little bit of garlic here as well. I've got some chicken here. You could use duck or chicken here. I also have some mixture of hock and some lamb confit. To this mixture, I will add some sausage on the Toulouse, which is the traditional sausage from the Toulouse region of France. Again, uh, keeping it nice and sturdy all the while, making sure that the meats are cooked, but not overcooked. Next, I will deglaze this mixture with some stock and some wine so that the food particles which have got all the flavor which have got stuck to the bottom of the pan kind of leave their flavors into this stew. We will now increase the fire so that the wine and the stock kind of evaporate off leaving the flavors out. We will add blanched, peeled tomatoes. These have just roughly been chopped. I do not want to cut them too fine because when I'm baking this stew, all of this is gonna leave its firm texture and gonna become one mass any which ways. I love the flavors of oregano, tomato, the smokiness of the pork, the fat, from the duck, all coming together in this marvelous dish. Next, we add some jus, which is essentially pan gravy, which has been reduced with some wine to give it that little bit of an extra texture, that little bit of an extra depth. Boiled beans. Now these are very very traditional and these have not been overboiled, just kind of boiled enough so that 
they can leave their skin jackets into the stew, thereby thickening the stew together again. Because remember, this is gonna go into an oven for approximately 30 to 35 minutes as well. Now comes the seasoning. Some salt. And some pepper. And we will let this sit till it reduces. And towards the end, we will add some fresh breadcrumbs. We definitely add this. What this will do is bring everything together in terms of texture and hold the stew together. This is almost ready to be put in a pan and kept away for baking. We will reduce the flame and let it simmer for approximately 15 to 20 minutes before transferring it into a pan. It's almost been 15 to 20 minutes since that's been cooking away and now we will transfer it into a pan in which we will finally bake it off. So I have an oven proof dish with me which is nice and broad so that I can showcase the various ingredients of this marvelous dish. This should ideally serve approximately two people with hearty appetites. What I'll do next is sprinkle a little bit of breadcrumbs again on top. Dot it a little bit of the marvelous confit duck fat which I have and leave it in the oven to bake for approximately 15 to 20 minutes and then this should be ready to serve. The cassolo is ready. If you notice, it's got a nice golden brown crust on top which is primarily the breadcrumbs and the beans which have given it a nice crust. I have broken the crust while it was baking in the oven at least twice so that it's nice and crunchy all the way through and it's nice and hearty and juicy within. So that's ready, the cassoulet de Toulouse.